Today, we're gonna to be printing a logo onto a sheet of metal. This process is called sublimation, and the first thing we do is fire up our heat press to 400 degrees, then take our design that's printed on a piece of sublimation paper. I trim that up, I get it nice and square, and then I take my sublimation panel, which has special coating on top so that the ink can transfer onto it. You have to make sure these are perfectly clear. You don't want any dust or particles on here, or else when you heat press it, it will show on the print. That's a problem I sometimes deal with. I pack boxes in the same area that I make these signs. So sometimes there is dust that I just have to make sure I clean up before I do any of my work. One thing that's super cool about making these signs is you can do literally any design that you want. Any picture that you have, everything can get printed. And honestly, the more detail an image has, it seems like the better it comes out. I say that because when I print simple images with like two colors, it seems like there's bleeding and it's not as good. Those tend to be the hardest ones to print. I also use very high quality panels. They're Duralux. So printing photos on these, they come out very clear. Everything has a satin finish. In the future, I'll also offer gloss, but it's less durable and it has that reflective on the wall that sometimes light makes it not look as good. What's nice about the satin finish is it has this shiny flat look so light doesn't reflect off of it too much. It's also incredibly durable. You can scratch it with your nails and it's not actually going to scratch, which is great because people like to use these outside as signs. You can hang them on your wall. People even use them as ceiling panels, like in a drop ceiling. As you can see now, this thing is ready to go. It's all heat pressed. I just need to peel the tape off. You have to be careful because it's very hot. But once it's ready, you just take the paper off and it's all set. What I do after that is I take these wall mounts, they're floating wall mounts, and I stick them onto the back with adhesive. And then when you hang them on the wall, it looks like it's sitting about one inch off of the wall. Hence why it's called a floating wall mount. I think it's really cool. It's one of the things I love most about these signs because it gives it that modern look. The bigger the sign, the better it looks, especially if you're hanging it alone on a big wall. If you have smaller ones, I also include mounts with those, but they look better, obviously, when you put them with other things. The last thing I do is I wrap these things in plastic and and then cover them in foam. I like to make sure that they're fully protected in the box. Things get pretty beat up in shipping. And then I use these easy fold boxes. This just saves me a ton of time and keeps it really compact. My goal over time is to have much nicer packaging, custom branded and packed just a lot nicer in general. I think it adds to the experience. It's just very expensive. So early on, it's really not worth it. The price of everything early on is very expensive because you're ordering in low quantities. Even when you're ordering at hundreds of time, that's still nothing compared to companies that sell thousands per day.